Hi there, it's Ellie again. Wanted to do another video to explain to you the interesting life cycle of patillary because it's a really intriguing story. Um, you can probably see this is quite a nice pocket of flowering fritillaries, but that really only tells one side of the story. So the life cycle of the fritillary is that um, if the plant's lucky enough to be pollinated, it will produce a seed which requires frost to stimulate germination. Following that, it will produce a bulb and put up a single leaf. Over subsequent years, it will put up another leaf until it's several years old, and then you would call it um, a non-flowering sub-adult. And after about five to seven years, it might consider flowering, so that's when you'd consider it an adult. So what you see here is really just the tip of the iceberg. Um, if you look down in amongst these, you can see a number of plants here that are just not flowering. So that's me. Now one of the really interesting things is that some of these may actually be adult plants. They may have just decided not to bother flowering this year. There's some really interesting studies by the Open University which indicates that the majority of plants will enter a period um, of dormancy lasting one to two years and some individuals will go dormant for many many years. I um, don't think we really know how long yet. So each year you will see a different set of Fertility's flowering. Some of these may have flowered for the past few years, some of them may not have appeared for, for several of those. And we don't really know why yet, although there's some suggestion that it may be linked to autumn flooding. But it's a very interesting fact, I think, and just goes to show that what we see here in terms of flowering plants isn't the full story.